hey everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in today's story i'll be teaching you how to make this beautiful top with this african girl sticker so these are the materials you'll be needing guys your main fabric which is scuba and then your tool net okay you need your sticker itself you need your tape pro scissors marker your ruler and then of course your pattern paper so let's get right into it for the top length i'm using 11 inches okay so i'm going to go right ahead and mark out the 11 inches with my marker okay so that's 11 inches and for the shoulder i'm using 8 inches but i'm going to mark four and a half inches because of allowance the shoulder is 8 inches chest is 24 inches waist is also 24 inches the arm hole is 10 inches while the top length is 11 inches like i earlier said so i'm going to go right ahead now and mark the arm hole which is 5 inches okay guys the arm hole is 5 inches that's 10 divided by 2 and then i'm going to confirm that the points where i marked four and a half is on the five inches length so i'm going to rule across the five inches and then outside of the measurement so that i can have my arm hole curve okay at its diagonal i'm going to mark half inch that's what i'll be using for my arm hole curve but first i will join the shoulder line after joining the shoulder line i can then mark out my arm hole curve you can also use your arm hole ruler to do that okay so the next thing is for me to measure the neckline the neckline that i'm using is two and a half for the neck width and then for the neck depth i'm also going to use two and a half inches and i'll shape it out you can use your pattern master to do that or you can use your free hand and that's the shoulder slope guys so the next thing for me to measure is the chest area the chest is 24 i'll divide that by four that gives six then half inch for freeness because it's not a fitted top and one and a half inches allowance so at the top length i'm going to mark out my waist which is six also plus half and another one and a half inches seam allowance okay once i'm done doing that i will join it together with my ruler and guys that's how very easy to, to make a top pattern for a kid this pattern will fit a one year old perfectly one to two years there about okay so i'm cutting it out now after cutting it out i'll use this pattern to call my fabric if you are yet subscribed to my youtube channel kindly do so if you are new to this channel subscribe like and comment on my post also turn on post notification because i will be giving you very nice content back to back right now i'm marking out the center front cf that means that particular place should be on a fold when you are cutting okay so i'm going to go ahead and fold my fabric into four watch how i'm going to do it i'll first four fold it into two and then i'll go ahead and fold it again this top isn't going to have a zipper allowance because the fabric is quite stretchy so i'm just folding into four and then making sure that i place my paper on the folded edge the center front should be on the folded edge i'll take my scissors now and cut out starting with the neckline okay i'm going to leave one inch at the bottom of the pattern and that's for your hem allowance okay you leave one inch at the bottom for your hem allowance and then you can cut out the sides just the way i'm doing cut out the sides cut out the arm whole area and cut out your shoulder slope as well just make sure that I use a sharp scissors to do this so that you can come out with a neat finish in case you decide not to line the ammo area. Since it's a stretchy fabric, you might decide not to line it, okay? It will still come out nice because the fabric doesn't free at all. It doesn't. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to open up my fabric and pick out one of it, which I'm going to iron on my sticker too okay so here's the sticker 
and then i'm placing it at the middle of the fabric but you can place it anywhere on the fabric it depends on what you want to achieve i will then place my already hot iron directly on the sticker okay just place it on it and apply pressure you can use a steam iron you can also use a heat presser or whatever you have anything that is very hot okay just here yeah, it is already hot then you leave it for like five minutes for it to cool down this is very important guys once it has cooled down you can then remove the nylon to reveal the beautiful african princess with afro prof sticker wow this is so lovely so the next thing is to join the shoulders join the two shoulders once you are done joining the shoulders you can now go ahead and cut your two okay so my tool is going to be folded into two first and then i'll fold it over again making four okay then i will mark the length i need for this project i used three inches as the length so i'm going to mark three inches on both sides i already did that and then i'll rule a straight line across kindly note that the width of the fabric itself is one and a half yards okay so that one and a half yards folded into four and then i'll use my length three inches once i'm done cutting i'll make my gather stitch you can use your rough flat foot or your gathering foot i'll make it on the tool okay make sure that you do it at the center that way your gathering will be very nice and even okay so once i'm done with making the gathering stitch the next thing will be for me to pull the gathers together and you see just cut off your threads and pick up one of the two threads you know you have two threads when sewing so i'm going to pick one of the threads and pull it down to the size i want okay for this project i used eight inches that means after gathering it you should have eight inches it can be more or less depending on how you want to place it on the fabric but for this project i used eight inches guys after that i would make sure that i open it up properly for me to be able to sew it on the main fabric easily i will then pick up my tape roll to mark four inches after the shoulder joining okay and four inches before the shoulder joining just see the way i opened up the fabric okay so that's the point i'll be joining my nets four inches before and after that makes the eight inches that i gather the tool into okay so i'll go back to my sewing machine now and begin to run a tie stitch on it so that's the second layer that i'm about to start working on make sure you pull the first layer to the side and then you can go ahead and seal the second layer you repeat that for all the layers you want to use for this project i used five layers on each side okay i made sure they were very close together i did the same thing for the other side once i finished one sleeve okay can you see how beautiful it is looking already guys it's so so cute right i know you love this kindly give this video a thumbs up if you find this tutorial helpful and then finally i'm going to measure out the waist which is 24 inches divided by 2 that's 12 the chest also is 12 inches 24 divided by 2 i'm going to rule on both sides and join my fabric together using my sewing machine okay you can trim off the excess allowance once you're done joining if you don't want it to be bulky okay so that's it once i'm done joining the next thing will be for me to turn it inside out and guys see how lovely it came out please don't forget to iron it. it's very important guys this is the end of the tutorial thank you so much for watching guys bye